Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric and thanks for coming to our site. Uh, today we're going to talk about replacing a fluorescent fixture. Uh, this fixture is in the bathroom. They use it as a vanity uh, light uh, above the mirror and uh, it's enclosed in a wooden frame. We're going to um, pull the light apart, um, replace the fixture. In this case it's going to be less expensive for us to replace the entire fixture uh, than it is to replace the parts. The ballast typically cost about as much as the whole fixture. So we might as well get the fixture replaced and uh, that way we know we're starting with uh, brand new parts, brand new ends, brand new pieces and uh, put some new light bulbs in it. And we're going to go through step by step of how to um, take the fixture apart, how to uh, reconnect it, how to put on a new one and to make sure it's uh, working properly. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the fixture. You can see it's in a wooden cabinet. There's a grate over it. You can tell that the light's really dull. Um, we're going to take the top off of it, find out what's going on with it, and uh, go ahead and replace that fixture. So let's get started with that. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have no power up where the wiring is. So I'm going to turn on my voltage detector and I'm going to make sure that I have no um, power here. I've already pre-tested it, but what I would do is just take it into an, a known source, make sure my voltage detector is working, and now I'm checking to make sure that there's no voltage on these wires before I get ready to take them apart. Then I can pull my fixture down. Now I've got my wires free so I can slide the fixture off over top of the wires once I get the screws out, the mounting, um, how it's mounted to the, uh, to the wall. And generally toggle bolts are used, so once you pull the toggle bolts out, you can't reuse them. You have to make sure you have a couple of new toggle bolts for it. Now I've got the toggle bolts out, I'm going to make sure that my wire comes out straight. I'm going to pull the fixture out because I don't want to cause any more damage. Already damaged to the housing. Pull it on out, slide it over. Another reason why we're replacing this fixture is you look at it, this fixture is about 20 years old. It's got an old style ballast in it. Um, the tombstones, which are the end pieces right here where the light fixture actually plugs into, the light bulb plugs into, um, those can get worn as you take um, bulbs in and out. And um, it's better to start off with a fresh new fixture, especially if the cost for the fixture is going to be less than the cost of the ballast. This right here is our ballast and uh, so that's why we're replacing it. That just goes bad. Alright, this is our fixture, brand new right out of the box. We're going to go ahead and take it apart and look at it and see how we, you know, it needs partial assembly. We've got to put in the um, tombstones or the bulb holders or bulb connectors at the end and uh, we're going to take a look at how to do that too. So let's go ahead and unpack it and get started with it. All right, we've taken the cover off. Now that we can see, uh, here's our ballast. We take a look at that. We take a look at um, just a whole scramble of wires just sitting there. We don't really know where they go. We want to make sure they're in the right spot. And we're going to take a look at how to determine what side goes to what side. So let's take a look at that. All right, I've taken them apart. We're looking at the uh, lamp holders right at the top there. And you can see where it says red and brown on the right side. and um, blue and yellow on the left side. So that's telling us where our lamp holders are going on this fixture. So we're going to go ahead and pull back here a little bit. I went ahead and separated and went red and brown on one side and we're going to go ahead and make those connections. Okay, I've gone ahead and pulled the wires up through. You can see right here. Um, I have one of them already connected in and just the red side. doesn't matter what side goes where. Um, but I went ahead and snapped it in. You can take a look right here. Snapped it into the end. It slides right in. And we're going to go ahead and do that with the brown one. We'll bring it over. 
and we're going to see that there's a slide part that catches right in. You see how that slides in right there? Slides right in. And we go ahead and push it in. And you get it snapped in place. Make sure the red one is properly snapped in place. And pull that out so you can take a look at it. And here's our red one. Go ahead and put it in there. And I'm going to snap it into place. So now our two end caps are put onto the fixture. Let's go ahead and put the, um, uh, those are our lamp holders now. Now we have end caps, I'm going to go ahead and grab those They're right down here in the box. Uh, this is the end cap, it just keeps the uh, dust out, any kind of uh, insects or anything that might want to come in there. So what we do is we just slide it right on. You'll see it fits right on there. There's two grooves. Let me get a closer look. There's two grooves and that snaps in. And that will protect the ends from getting any type of dust or any type of insects inside. All right, now I've got my end cap in, my lamp holders are on. Now I have a bunch of extra wire. Let's go ahead and take a look at our extra wire here. We're gonna take and make a turn with it, just a twist and set it back into the fixture. So it's back out of the way. And that way when we get ready to put the belly pan on or the bottom cover, then the wires won't get pinched. And that's our first side of our fluorescent fixture. Okay, now we can see that we've got our fixture assembled. Our lamp holders are assembled along with our backing plate. We go down the fixture and there's our ballast. Uh, there's our brown and red, those are assembled. And now we just have our black and white wires that are sticking out. And we also have our ground screw. Take a look at that right there. That's where our bare wire or our green wire is going to attach. We're going to look at also the schematic. And we can see on the schematic that the uh, brown and the yellow wires match up to the same lamp. So you're going to want to make sure that those end up on the same side of the light fixture. Then we've got our red and our blue lining up but it shows us right there on the schematic. So let's go ahead and install this fixture. Okay, I'm ready to install and I've gone ahead and put my toggle bolts in. That's this bolt right here. Uh, we're gonna look at it in the back and you can see the bolt sticking right out the back. So when I get ready to slide the fixture over, my toggle bolt will just slide into the hole and uh, make a new connection. Alright, so now we can see that we made the connection to the ground. We've also made the connection to our um, wires, our white wire with our white wire, our black wire with our black wire. And we're ready to put the belly pan on. We can see down here we have the wires tucked in uh, nice and neat, so we're not going to get any pinched wires. Alright, let's get the light bulbs in. Sometimes fluorescent light bulbs can just be a pain in the butt putting them in. But um, we're going to go ahead and put these in. I want to show you the right way to put them in. All right, taking a look at our fluorescent light bulb, we're going to see we have our two prongs right up at the top. We've got to make sure they line in to go straight into the fixture. And uh, also, there's going to be a notch. Uh, you can't really see it here because it's just a little dent in the fixture um, right at the green cap. And what that does is once you've turned it in and it's locked into place, you should see that little um, marking. And that will show you that your fixture's in and it's snapped in uh, properly. So let's go ahead and put this one in. Alright, we're snapped in. Let's go ahead and turn it on see what happens. And we have light. Very nice. Now this type of light fixture, um, I, I'm not in particular, um, I don't put them in all the time unless the customer uh, asks or requests. Um, this type of fixture is a um, F40 um, T12 um, bulb and it's kind of old school. Um, but the customer has the same type of fixture throughout the house and he doesn't want to have a bunch of different types of light bulbs. Uh, what I would recommend if you were replacing would be a T8, which is electronic ballast, versus a magnetic ballast of the T12. Uh, it does better in high humidity areas and moisture. 
Um, they don't seem to flicker as much. They seem to last a lot longer. And you get more light out of the uh, T8 and using less wattage. But this is our T12 uh, fluorescent fixture. And we just got it all together. And um, hope the customer's going to be right, happy so we've with installed it. our T12 uh, 40 watt fluorescent fixture. And uh, if you have any questions about this fixture, if you have any questions about fluorescent lights or any type of electrical uh, project that you're working on, please uh, contact me. Uh, send me a tweet. Look me up on Facebook. Uh, send me an email. I'd like to help you out with any questions that you have. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, thanks a lot for coming to our site, PowerSourceTutorials.com. And I'll see you on your next project. Thanks.